Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well today. I wanted to bring you this video to compare a couple different thermal cameras I've received over the last few months and help you make up your mind if you're looking for a entry level sort of budget thermal camera. These are some of the most popular ones you're going to find when you're looking on Amazon uh, with the exception of the FLIR, the F-L-I-R. That's another really popular one, but I have these three uh, in my possession, so I thought I'd make a video to compare them all just in case you need a little help making up your mind on which one you want to go with. So. Starting off over here, we have the TC001 from Topdon. Now this is the Android specific version. If you have an iPhone, you would be looking for the 002. This is a phone dongle style thermal camera. Plugs into your phone, nice and compact, works well. Then we have the Hike Micro. I've done a video on this one already. Um, don't wanna be biased right off the start, but this is one of my favorite thermal cameras. It's just a nice quality built, rugged feeling uh, grab and go camera. You don't have to plug it into your phone. It's just a dedicated tool. You can pick it up and go. And then this is the infrared P2 Pro by Pergear. So this is another uh, dongle style thermal camera. Again, works good. They all have uh, a couple little differences I'm going to go over just to help you make up your mind and see which one is best for you. So out of the box on the top don, you get your thermal camera, obviously. Very small, compact. You get a small cleaning cloth and you get a USB-C extension. So you have a USB-C female on this side, a USB-A on this side with a cap that removes for a USB-C. So you can plug this into a computer or your phone. This cable is really handy because I have an OtterBox style case on my phone, so it's pretty bulky. So without this case, you or without this cord, you have to take the whole case off the phone to use and it just kind of makes it a pain. So the cable is a big feature on that one. This is the Hike Micro. You get the dedicated tool here. Um, you just push the button and away you go. Powers up and you're in business. You don't need to plug it into a phone. Comes with a very detailed manual and your charging cable. And over here we have the P2 Pro. This thing is by far the tiniest little camera. Comes with that same USB-C extension, a little carrying bag, and a very brief manual. Not a lot of information in it. It also comes with this little macro lens and a cover. So. This is kind of like a magnified lens. I can't get that off with one hand. Um, if you were looking at like a printed circuit board, this would be handy. It's kind of like a, a little magnifying glass to put on the face of the camera. This is just magnetic and it sticks right on there. So if you're doing some really fine detailed work, that would be a good feature for you. Now, as far as cost, the Top Don comes in at the most expensive at $399. On Amazon right now, there is a $20 coupon, so you can get that price down $20. The Hike Micro comes in at $299, and there's a $50 coupon, so you can actually get that down to $249, which is a great value. And the P2 Pro comes in at $389 if you want the macro lens, and $319 if that is uh, not something you'd be interested in. Okay, so this is the Top Don all set up. We have it plugged into the USB-C on the phone. It's a pretty nice little app. You just tap on thermal imaging to get started and away it goes. So this is my little Google Chromecast back here on the garage TV. It's always running pretty hot. Looks like our cable is around 96.6 .6 degrees. So keep that in mind. We'll compare that on all three cameras. Our TV is sitting around 95 degrees in the center. Uh, the Top Gun has a resolution of 256 by 192, and it claims to be accurate within 2 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is the Hike Micro in action. Um, you just push the power button and away you go. You have your same three points, high, center, and lowest point. Take a quick peek at the Chromecast. Looks like we're sitting around 97. Said 96.8 for a minute there. Take a look at the TV. Center is reading about 96 degrees Fahrenheit. A um, little bit smaller screen on the Hike Micro, but again, it's just a dedicated tool. You pick it up, turn it on. There's no need to mess around with uh, plugging it into a phone or any extra cables. Now, this one has a resolution of 240 by 240, so very comparable to the 256 by 192. And here's the P2 Pro all set up. As you can see, it's very tiny, nice and small. You just plug it in and it opens the app, gets right to the imaging. There's not really a lot of other settings in the app other than you can change the units. As you can see, we are still reading right around 96.5 degrees on the Chromecast. And the TV is sitting at 
95 Fahrenheit in the middle. So all three cameras very consistent as far as temperature readings. Uh, I'm going to set up a little circuit board and show you the macro lens next. Okay, so this is the macro lens. Now from anything more than a couple inches away, it's just, just kind of a blurry mess. But if you get nice and close, you can get a very detailed reading on some circuit boards. So that's a cool feature if you are someone who's into uh, maybe vintage electronics repair, stuff like that. This could come in handy for some small stuff. Really good image quality, actually, from up close like this. So, yeah, if you are uh, interested in taking a look at some small, detailed circuit boards, stuff like that, that might be the one for you. So after using each one of these for a couple weeks, each one does have its pros and cons. Now, starting with the P2 Pro, I think it's honestly too small. I don't think it needed to be that small. Uh, I feel like you could just drop this down the crack of a deck and it would be gone. Uh, as far as pros, I do like the macro lens. If you're doing some small detailed work, that's a nice feature and it could be uh, best fit for you. The Topton is a nice overall camera. I like that it comes with a case and a pretty versatile cable. I think the price is a little bit high at $399. Now there is that 20% discount coupon and there's gonna be a discount coupon on my video. so. Keep that in mind, but I think the price might just be a little bit high. Now, the Hike Micro, uh, the pro is it's a nice, dedicated, rugged, all-in-one tool. You just pick it up and go. I like the fact that you don't have to hook it up to your phone, but if you're someone that needs to upload these photos to your phone, put them in an email every time you use it, the dongle style might be for you. Cons, I wish this thing came with a carrying case. There's no case included, so you either have to keep it in the box or kind of risk damaging it. So. Let me know in the comments which one you think is best for you if you're in the market for a thermal camera or if you already have one that you think is better than any of these three. Um, as always, I'll leave the links and descriptions below. You can check out uh, each one of these guys on Amazon and there will be a couple discount codes as well. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.